Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I am going to be working with yet another this little piggy pigment that's going to be coming out called Blue Eyes. It's just really beautiful blue color. And I did get a date. Shelly uh, announced the date that the all these new piggies that I've been testing out are going to be released. They are going to be released on May 10th at 10 a.m., but that is Australian time. So I'm in Central Time, Chicago time, and that equates to 7 p.m. on Sunday, May 9th is when they will go into the the Fluid Art store. The the I'll put the website, the link down below to where you can buy them in case anybody is interested in getting some this little piggy pigments because they are completely awesome. <laughs> I can't toot them enough, and and I, and it's not because. You know, I love the Bloom's technique and, and, you know, I just, I love Shelly as a person, but, you know, and her pigments are amazing, but they truly are amazing. I've used other pigments and these, this little piggy and Color Art are my two favorite. They are just high quality and the, this little piggy, it, it, the amount you get and the amount of money you spend, it is well, it is, it, it's, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So let's just put it that way. So enough enough tooting all of that. Let's go have some fun. I'm going to do a bloom and a swipe, kind of a different swipe, a little bit different. <laughs> trying to test myself here. <laughs> so a bloom and a swipe today with blue eyes. So let's go have some fun. All right. For this first piece, I've got a six by six deep sided canvas here. And the pillow I'm going to be using is my Glidden Premium in satin. Oops, actually, you know what? I don't want to Slow down there, Jody. <laughs> I want to put some on the sides first, just to get the sides covered. Um, but this is the satin as opposed to the eggshell, only because I ran out of uh, my 32 ounce container of the eggshell on my bench. I have to pour some more in. And I usually, and I say that as opposed to just going and get some more now, I like to let it sit a few days just to let the bubbles escape. There's been so much issues with bubbles at one point that I, I'm i super careful about when I put it out. I, you know, I let it sit for a while. So if you're, if you're having trouble with bubbles in your pillow paint, just kind of think ahead a little bit and, you know, let it rest a few days, put it in a smaller container, let it you know, let it rest so the bubbles can escape. It really does help. All right, that looks good. Now I'll put some up here. Got ahead of myself a little bit, but that's all right. I'm excited. I'm excited to do the bloom. <laughs> right there. That should be enough for now. All right, my first color I am gonna put down is Joe Sonia's Black Umber. And these are all mixed with my Infinity Joe Sonia Pouring Medium. Here is the consistency of that. And all the, all the colors in the pouring medium and the ratios are uh, at the beginning of this video and snapshots and also down below in the description box. So you can get a snapshot of anything you need. All right, I think that's good. And then here is the this little piggy, the blue eyes. It's a really pretty pale blue. It looks it looks paler in powder form than it does mixed up. It really turns into a nice blue. I did add a um, a little dollop of the Bare 8300 in this just to thicken it up, but that's the consistency. <clears throat> I did a test with the with the this blue eyes. And the reason I'm using the black umber is because I really liked how it shone against the it, it just shone show using the wrong word. <laughs> it 
it was just really beautiful against the uh, the black umber so I wanted to showcase that together I'm gonna put just a little bit of golden fluid the interference gold on top not a lot I just want I just want a little because I don't want the gold to completely take over from the the blue eyes. <laughs> and then my cell activator today, I am using, well, I started out mixing up this. This is the Blitcrylic Afluorescent Magenta. And I didn't like how it was looking. The, the paint itself was a little lumpy. I had to mix it really well, so I just threw in a couple squirts of Amsterdam, uh, the reflex, the reflex rose. So it's this really nice hot pink color. I, I thought that would be fun to offset the blue. And this is uh, mixed with Australian Floetrol, so at four to one. That is so cool. Oh, I love what the, and it's going to come off, but I love what the, uh, the hot pink and the, and the black umber and the pillow made right there. All right. Let's, alrighty, what to do? I had some more pink in there, but that's okay. That's all right. We are here to showcase the blue, and it is going to set off really nice, it looks like. <laughs> I don't really want to do anything else. I love all the cells in here and what they're doing. I don't really want to touch it. Maybe I'll do that right in there. Yeah, everything else looks really neat. Okay, I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, I'm just going to add some more pillow paint around the edges because this definitely needs some more paint to get over these deep sides. Been slow, so it just kind of 
pools down the side, hopefully. It seems to be working. Wow. <laughs> that blue is just gorgeous. Whew. Yeah. That just, yeah. I'm glad I used the pink in there. All right. Another little spin. I love these cells right here. All those in there, these look like leopard, little leopard spots. So cool. How's my paint? It's still moving ever so slightly. Look at the side there, if you can see that. Okay, just one more little baby spin and I think we're good. I think we're there. I'm just looking at the very middle to see if it's moving any, just to spread it out ever so evenly. I think we're there. I've got coverage on most, most sides everywhere. It's, it's, it's it went down really nicely, but geez, these colors are just gorgeous. All right. That is just gorgeous. There's what that one looks like. That blue. All right, this next piece is going to be, uh, this is a 10 inch round and I'm using the same pillow, the Glidden Premium in the satin. Spread this out. I'm going to do something a little different uh, with the swipe. I've been wanting to try putting all my colors on the tool as opposed to putting them down on the on the canvas and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to be using the same colors I'm going to be using this tool to swipe and I'll show you how I have it layered but the idea is I'm going to put the cell activator on first. Um, I think I might cover it completely with the cell activator and then the other three colors I'm going to drizzle them on so I'll put the black umber kind of drizzled on and then I'm going to drizzle on the and I have to do it off camera because I, I just don't have enough space here but I'll show you what it looks like the blue eyes and then the interference and then I'm going to swipe it on there I've seen some others do do that and we're going to give it a go kind of like that and we're just going to swipe and go before this all drips everywhere Well, that's cool. <laughs> that is so awesome. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I felt like the paint was going to drip off. I didn't have uh, time to figure out how I wanted to swipe it. I just did it. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll plan a little bit better. But you're getting some really neat uh, cells in there. I think I want to put some on a smaller tool, maybe right here and just kind of swipe right there. That's what I'm going to do. Tiny tool, tiny layers. <laughs> that is so cool. I love this. Oh, let's see. That's probably going to go off, so I'm not really worried about it. What I really like is what's going on here. I think I might do some little <clears throat> embellishments, but I want some negative space for this, so I don't I don't want to add too much more uh, paint to it.
try to add just a little bit of me and my wispies. I almost feel like I want blue in here. Hmm, let's see. Maybe I'm asking for too much. I don't want to mess it up either. There. That's not too bad. I think what I want to do is try to hook this over here and then move all this over. Hopefully I lose most of this, but keep most of this. That is my idea anyways. So I will meet you over at the spinner box. And just minimal, just to help it. it along because I think I've got plenty of paint on here. I just don't want any bare spots on the side just just in case. <clears throat> but I want to show you just the, all the cells in there. They're so cool. All right. Um, I want to leave it where it is because as I spin it, that's going to go that way and this I want to come off and I'm trying to keep a lot of this. So let's spin. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. This is just super cool. All right, spin this way. I'm trying to spin light, but not too much because I want to guide this as much as I can. There's very faint blue right here. It almost it looks just probably just looks pink on camera, but you've got gold and faint blue right there too. So that is just super cool. This is so awesome. I think I just want to try and get this to touch over here, but not go too far over. How am I doing on my sides? Look good. I have a good, good amount of paint. Bring that down just a touch. Go this way. It's so cool what's going on in there. I think we're done. Yeah. It's not really moving and I just don't want to... I don't want to overwork this because I am absolutely loving what I'm seeing here. With all the, the subtle sparker, spark, the <laughs> sparkle. <laughs> It's just gonna, yeah. Not sure on the orientation yet, but actually that's kind of a cool orientation. I like that right there. Cleaned up, and I will 
bring you over for the flyover of both of these. Here's the flyover of this one. I just love that blue. The, the blue mixed with the pink, the hot pink. And that little, little bits of gold. These are probably my favorite cells right there. It look, they look almost leopard. And I love those little baby cells in there. And they come out. Some more leopard cells over here. So cool. I cannot wait to see what this dries like. The blue, when it dries against that uh, black umber, it gives off this, this beautiful glow. So can't wait to see it. All right, here is the flyover of this guy. You see just there's, all through where you just see pink, there's subtle shades of the gold and the blue. I'm so excited to see how that dries. These cells in here. Just made some wicked cells. It's so cool. And all the mixture of paints in here. Completely awesome. I think that's my favorite part right there. I'm glad it didn't make its way off. I tried so hard to keep the the sections that I wanted to keep, and I just love this. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry. So I'll be back once these two are dried for the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the two pieces you just saw me do. They both dried beautifully. The swipe, um, the, um, I should have, <laughs> I feel like I want to do that that one again, and, and I'll tell you why when I show it to you, but I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just I lost some of the blue. But the uh, the six inch deep sided one just dried gorgeous. You can see that blue eyes in there, and I love how it kind of, it has that, I can't even describe it. It has a different iridescence obviously with black as it, as it would with white. And I just love how it is against the black umber. It's just gorgeous. And the, the sides, I got them all. None of the, none of the drips that I was, <laughs> I used to get, I, I'm getting a little bit better at that, but here's more of the detail. And these, these cells right here, I think are my favorite. They remind me of leopards, like a leopard spotting. And I love these tiny little ones in here too. I'm definitely gonna resin this. It's gonna look so cool. This blue, this, this iridescent is just gonna, is just gonna shine with resin. Now, the round piece, the swipe I did, it came out really cool but it's not for everybody because it almost looks a little bit dark. And when I say dark, I mean, um, creepy. <laughs> I kind of like it, <laughs> but it's, that there was a lot of the white in the background and I wish I had put like maybe a big puddle of the, the black umber so that the blue, I wouldn't have lost it. Cause you can see, you know, as, as it gets turned, you can see the iridescence of it, but looking at it straight on, it kind of got lost. And if I'd had more of this in there, I think it would have showcased it a little bit better. However, having said that, I do just love the detail of all of these different cells and these little ones in here where they look almost three-dimensional, just the coolest. So overall, I am pleased with both of these. And this was a really fun experiment, putting the the paint on the tool and then doing it. I know uh, Jessica Winterstrom does that, and I think Nikki D as well. And that was the first time I tried it. I'm definitely going to be trying that again. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so there's that one. Both turned out just gorgeous. So... Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts on them. I had a lot of fun doing these two and I'm definitely gonna be trying that technique again. So with that, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.